Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. So this is the second part of Cronus Station. I don't know why there's a decoy directly in front of me right now. And so this is the Falcon. It is a grenade launcher. It shoots grenades. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It... Oh, let's see. Well, it does solid damage. It has a rapid rate of fire. It actually does the exact same damage as a Saber. So it's really more just a Saber that fires faster and has a bit of an arc to the projectiles. Narrowly avoided that grenade. I just casually waddle around the corner. The one interesting thing about it, though, is you can just fire at the floor and bounce the grenade forward. I do that a few times in the video. Just there's a narrow corridor. Just bounce a bunch of grenades in there. And they do do area of effect damage, so it's an interesting weapon for sure. I don't know if it's really what I would like to use, but it's interesting. It has its uses. Especially just as a spam weapon. Because I, I have no idea if headshots make any difference for this weapon. I really doubt they do. I really think you should just aim for center mass, and, and that's really it. This was a rather irritating area. There's just so much cover for them. And here, I think, is my first time using, at least showing to you guys, using Cryoblast. Really effective power. I really don't feel like I'm stronger using it than the turret. Like, I don't feel so like, oh man, I wish I'd used this the entire game. It's so freaking powerful. And it is really, really powerful. It's kind of what I would consider a balanced version of Stasis. Because with Stasis, they stand up for a lot longer, so you can get a lot more headshots on them and whatever. And... Stasis has stasis bubble, where this does not, so this is what I would consider more of a balanced stasis power. Plus you can shatter combo it with incinerate, which I do from time to time. But I really didn't feel like I was way more effective with this than just using the turret, really. They both serve their purposes well enough. Oh no! That's close. Fun, though, it's definitely a lot more effective than it was in the previous game, that's for sure. I was thinking if I could fire through here, and I can, actually. But I couldn't get that energy drain... ...through. And this guy just doesn't want to play. This is an example of me firing at the floor and just bouncing grenades at them. Sometimes it works, but he was too far to the right. I'll be using it to pretty good effect a bit later, I think. But yes, he was essentially dead, so I just wanted to move things along. And, yes, it's very important to destroy the generators in this in this sequence. If you don't, the turrets will just have infinite shields and they'll be impossible to take down. It's something to keep in mind. Also, you notice that I actually bounced a grenade off of that generator. And that wasn't intentional. I was trying to destroy it. But if you saw, you can actually bounce grenades around corners with this weapon. You can bounce grenades off walls before they explode. So it definitely has a lot of strategic use. I have a feeling, and I haven't actually checked this yet, but I really hope that when you start a new character, you get to use your weapons that you found from the previous character. Like, I hope that if I start a new character, I'll get all the weapons that I unlocked just playing this guy. Because I don't want to, like, just export him and then start him, you know, keep playing him as another class at level 43. I would rather just have more weapons to use. Especially if I wanted to use the Falcon, because you get that at the very end of the game. But I don't know, I'll see. I haven't I haven't checked yet. At some point, I suppose. We'll see. I'm on it. The Falcon's actually really bad at destroying generators. It tends to just bounce past them. Right. I'm going to wind up dying. And I get kind of aggravated, and you'll see that I get very aggressive after I die to get through this. Because I, I had already done this whole thing once, and I really wasn't... I mean, I was enjoying myself, but I really didn't want to do it again, you know, so soon. And, I mean, especially considering I wanted to get all these videos out, so this was just... wasting time for me. But whatever. As always, whatever. And here I'm trying to just... keep one of these turrets sabotaged, have the turrets sort of destroy each other. Which worked well enough, but now it needs to die, and there it goes. And it was trying to get a shatter combo off there, but it hit the little dealie in front of him, unfortunately. You will see plenty of combos 
come the final mission. I get them off just about every 10 seconds in that mission. It happens constantly. And somebody asked me about these combos and how effective they were and whatever. And for me, it's nothing that I've ever really paid attention to. I will occasionally try to finish an enemy off with Carnage after they've been set on fire with an Incinerate. But it's more for amusement than anything. It, it is helpful if you can get it off in the middle of a group of weak enemies. I mean, it does do solid AoE damage, so that does help if you need to burst them down quickly. But I don't think it's as powerful as using warp detonations. I think warp detonations are far better than the tech detonation. So they're nice. They're nice touch. They're amusing, I'd say. And once incinerates high enough level, you can actually light enemies on fire with fire ammo and then just detonate it with incinerate, whereas I've been relying on carnage for most of the games, so that's pretty cool. So I'm reactivating a generator to try to keep shields up on me, but yeah, and I was suspicious about this cover because it seems like it's really open. And in a moment, and somehow not yet, but in a moment, I'll realize, yeah, this was a bad idea. He can still hit me. He can still hit me. I don't, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't know what to do. I'm going to die. I don't know. I run away and I die. Wah. Whatever. That was annoying. And I was really pissed when I realized I had to go all the way back and do this whole freaking thing over again. And normally I would honestly even just skip this because let's move things along. But I play really aggressively, and I'm actually pretty effective from what I recall, so... I don't know. Watch and see. Yeah, I just want them to die. Like, everybody. Grenades... from everybody. Just... frag grenades, grenade launcher, scorpion grenades, just grenades everywhere. So I get back to where I was pretty quick. Yeah, I wasn't really concerned about conserving ammunition at this point. So, if you learn anything from this, don't stand where I was standing, because when I died, because that cover... There's holes in it, and they'll shoot you through it, and you'll die. So don't do it. By the way, if anybody's interested, the Mists of Pandaria press tours embargo just lifted, so if you want to hear information about the next WoW expansion, if you want to know about the monk and all his abilities and whatever, it's all listed now. I read through it. Interesting stuff. I will definitely be mooching off of my friend's annual pass and be playing the beta. I might actually record some of it. I don't know. I have no idea if anybody wants to watch that. And I do know that about 10 trillion people will be doing the exact same thing. So... Probably pointless, but I'm going to be doing it regardless, at least a little bit, so... We shall see. This is the Locust, by the way, or at least I believe it is. I'm just firing in bursts. Don't think I really needed to. I, if I recall, the Locust is super accurate at any range, but I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know for sure. Don't know. Oh, and if you guys want my opinion on the final mission, and especially anything related to the plot, I'm probably not going to give it. Because I don't actually even know my opinion at this point. I'm still thinking about that. I had no idea what to think at the end of this game. But this should be coming to a close. I think there's one guy left. 
Oh, there's a turret. I think there's a turret. <coughs> a turret and a centurion. Yep. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, and here we have this area. Now, unfortunately, this kind of bugged a bit. The second a phantom's gonna drop from the ceiling, and I died from this actually the very first time I did it. But again, that didn't record, so what can you do? And there's supposed to be more guys after you kill this phantom, but for this section, they just didn't spawn. And unfortunately, I quick saved immediately after killing the phantom just out of habit, and it auto saved after I killed the phantom. So, yeah, they just didn't spawn, so I don't really get to show that, and I refuse to do the entire mission over again just to show the guys that spawn here. But what I did when I first beat it was I just stayed down those stairs and fired into them from over there. I didn't run up here to these covered positions because a phantom spawns with them. I just wanted to stay away, and that's basically what I did. But I'm going to just waddle my way up to the upper level. And there are more enemies up there. And here we go. And this is an example, this is going to be an example of me firing grenades in closed quarters in a narrow hallway or whatever, a kill zone, and using it to pretty decent effect, but I believe I die first, so first I will die. I forget why I die. I'm pretty sure I die, and yeah, they just shoot me. That's really all there is. I thought that that cover was blocking them, but nope. Nope. So, let's go back. <clears throat> and finish this off. And this is approaching the end of this video, guys. Next video will just be the final boss of Cronus Station. And here I go. So I'm just firing grenades to the ground, just bouncing them towards them. And doing air of effect damage. And trying to keep my distance from this phantom. He was being shielded by a generator, but I believe I do burst him down. Once again, I'm just waiting for this nemesis sniper to peek his head out. But I get tired of doing that. And I just bum rush him in. Not a problem. Killed the generator that was giving him shields. Heavy melee. Punch in the face. Alright guys, well that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a good one.